Hi guys, welcome back to Lenox Many channel. Today we're going to be looking at the principles of business 2024 solution. This might be a part two, so ensure that you subscribe so you can get part two. All right. So it says private enterprise is mainly, is mainly run to create and that is a profit. Which of the following is not a function of money and that would be indivisibility. Let's go, guys. Let's go. For those who want to be a part of my math marathon, call my number at 876-549-261. Doesn't matter which country you're from, guys. Big up. Big up Trinidad. Big up Barbados. Big up Bahamas. Big up St. Um, Lucia. Ah, la, 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 Grenada. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. The lease. Which of the following forms of payment in con is considered a legal tender and that would be a check. Which of the following statement is not true? A says public sector refers to government owned business. B public sector businesses are not required to pay taxes. C private sector businesses are owned by individuals. Or D private sector is as well as public sector provide employment. And that would be B public sector business are not required to pay taxes. Remember, this is not true, guys, all right? Let's move up to number five. Hit the like button if you have not done so, if you want to be a part of my math class, the number is 876 See there? A post-date check is one which A, is dated for a payment at a future date. B, was written no longer than six months ago. C, is dated to agree with the date of the document request to the payment or a postage check is one which is dated by the bank on the day the check is presented for payment and that would be A is dated for payment at a future date. Number six says the main objective of a trade union is to encourage A the unionization of the workers, B the increase of salaries and vacations, C advancement of the welfare of its members are the fire enough workers whenever they have problems at work. And that would be advancement of the welfare of its members. So that would be C. Number seven says selecting the objectives and procedures of achieving goals is referred to A as motivating, controlling, organizing, or planning. And that would be D planning. If you have one, if you have not done so, Number eight says, in which of the following categories would subsidize means for employers for? Is it fringe benefits, wage salaries, duty free allowances, workers' compensation? And that would be fringe benefits, which is A. So, guys, let's go on to number nine. Hit the like button if you have not done so. January 2024, paper. Item nine refers to the following information. Mr. Lloyd, Mrs. Lloyd, the manager of LM. Limited owes regular staff meetings to list ideas from, from employees before making decisions that will affect the future of the company. What leadership style does Mrs. Lloyd employ? Is it autocratic, democratic, charismatic, or lease of fear? And that would be democratic. All right. So we're at number 10. Let's go with the right one if you have not done so. Richard has been employed to MTSL for over 10 years. This is due, he is due for a promotion at the end of the year. However, a manager's nephew was recently hired and has been promoted at the end of the job. An upset Richard has taken his issue to his trade union. This conflict is a result of A, unfair practices, B, e, lack of job security, C, a lack of fringe benefits, or D, e, poor working conditions. And that would be unfair practices. And this is happening in many places. But guys, let's go and work. Go and work. No much promotion and one. Let's go and put it in the work. If employees are dissatisfied with working conditions, trade union representative first action should be A, plan for a strike action, B, a discussion with the human resources, C, advise employees to adapt postal tactics, or D, request a meeting with the board of directors and that would be B have discussion with the human resources so that would be B. Two 
Ruby is a very nice um, topic, um, subject. Hit the like button if you have not done so. One way in which entrepreneurial contribution to economic development by A, creating jobs for citizens, B, importing goods from abroad, C, providing incentive for workers, or D, encouraging trade unions to represent workers. And that would be A, creating jobs for citizens. Number 13, in which of the following situation is collateral most needed? A, buying stocks and shares. B, taking out an insurance policy. C, buying from a financial institution. Or D, ordering the goods for a foreign manufacturer. And 13 would be C, buying from a financial institution. The bank name one thing, guys. Number 14. An entrepreneur who wants to maintain control of a business would be advised to establish the business as a, a sole trader, a partnership, B, C, a limited company, private, and R, is it a private limited company? And that would be A, a sole trader. 15 says, which of the following elements would not be included in the feasibility study? A, profitability, B, technical study issues, C, target. Market or D, market demand, and that would be ethical issues. So we're at number 15, guys. For this video, I think we're up with here. Which of the following is not an element of a business plan? A, legal tender, B, financial plan, C, marketing plan, D, production plan, and that would be A, legal plan. Hit the like button if you have not done so, guys. January 2024 paper. This is the latest paper. You can look for some of these coming back. A purchase order is A. Request for additional goods. B. A notification of goods received. C. Statements of debt outstanding. Or D. Documents offered to buy goods. And that would be D. Documents offering to buy goods. That's a purchase order. Let's move on to 80. Which of the following statements represent? A contract. Mr. Adam places a, a bar sale sign on his bike. B. Seven year old Kevin sells his bike to Mr. Adams. C. Mr. Adams sells a bike to seven year old Kevin. Or D. Seven year old Kevin models buy a bike from Mr. Adams. And that is the D. Can go in a um, contract with a minor. Alright. So number 19. In establishing a contract, Invitation to the treat is often misinterpreted as A, an offer, A, a breach, an acceptance, or B, e, a counter offer, and that is an offer. Alright, number 20, an essential feature of a valid contract is. Whoa, 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 whoa there. An essential feature of a valid contract is that the offer has been made to the offeree. B, the offer is made by writing the offeree. C, a counter offer has been made by the court, by the offerer to the offer. The offeree to the offerer. Or D, the offer has been accepted by the offeree, either in writing or orally. What's the answer for that, guys? And that is D, the offer has been accepted by the offeree, either in writing or orally. So let's move up to 21. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel over the years. Thank you guys so much. If you have here new year, make sure you subscribe so you can get other videos. 21, which of the following is not a characteristic of cottage industry? A, small scale. B, home base. C, mainly automated. Or D, utilize mainly local raw materials. And for 21, it's mainly automated. 22, the location of an extractive industry is least affected. A, it's, pro it's proximity to large shopping areas. B, the presence of goods and roads and drainage. It's proximity. C, it's proximity to the source of raw materials. Or D, the availability of abundant supply. And that would be A, it's proximity to large shopping areas. All right, let's move up to 23. 
which of the following types of capital is used for the day-to-day -day operation of a business? This is the fixed floating nominal or the working, and that would be working. Most of these repeat, guys. Um, so just ensure that you are ready. And all the best and congratulations to those who are getting the grade one. Big up everybody, big up. But I wish Caribbean country are from 24. The amount of labor available for productive activity is known as A, labor force B, labor movement C, employment level, or D, employment opportunity. And that would be labor force. Let's move on to 25. Subsistence production is best described as producing good as A, profit, export, local trade, or personal use. And that would be D, personal use. Let's move on to 26. Joel bought a dive factory because he wanted to ensure that he received a regular supply of dyes, making tie and dice card. In which type of linkage is Joel engaged? Is it forward, diagonal, backward, or horizontal? And that would be backward. Number 27. Which of the following outcome is least likely to result from growth in an organization? A. Greater productivity. B. More division of labor. C. Increased communication. Or D. Increase capital investment, and that would be increase communication. Remember, it says the least likely to result from the growth. So, guys, read the keywords carefully. Let me highlight it for you. All right, 28. Which of the following is a major function of consumer organizations? A to act as price inspectors, B to provide goods and services for consumers. C, to set price control for certain commodities. D, to educate consumers about their rights and responsibilities. And that would be D, ed educate customers, consumers about their rights and responsibilities. Let's move on to 29. Which of the following gives identity to a specific producer's good? Is it the label, the brand, the patent, or the copyright? And that is the brand. 30 and last for this video, but please ensure that you come back for part two. Ensure you are subscribed, and I'll see you in part two very soon. All right. So 30 says, in each of the following types of trade, is the higher purchase method of buying most likely to be used? Is it the retail, the import, the foreign, or the wholesale? And that would be which of the following types of trade is the higher purchase method of buying most likely to be used? Retail, import, foreign, also. I would definitely say A, retail. Alright, guys, so this is my number for those who want to contact me to be a part of my math class. Marathon's going on, it doesn't matter which Caribbean country you are from. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Let's go. What's up, me? For the math class, thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. So it's 549. Two one six one. That's my number. And guys, I'm gonna start part two. So the book of part two. Let's spend it tomorrow. No doubt. I'll see you guys in another video.